Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are going to be expanding on something we've done previously, which is the bomb wheels. And we're going to make a challenge out of this. What I'm going to try to do is experiment with different designs to basically use bombs as wheels or parts of our wheels and see what can be the design that can get us going the quickest without exploding. Now, I want to pass this challenge off to you guys, too, and I don't quite know yet the rules of the challenge because I have to experiment with uh, what might be considered cheating and what might not be considered cheating. But uh, this was the first time we experimented with bombs. On the very first episode, we did this, and since then, the bombs have been changed when it comes to their impact sensitivity, so I think that this might be even harder than it was the first time I tried it. But this worked before, and you can see it appears to be working now. Any faster than this, though, and these canisters will explode. Or at least have a better chance to explode. Let's just try and see if it still is that way. We're going to go up to four notches instead of three notches. And we're going to see what happens with this. Okay, yeah, this is already not looking nearly as safe. Now, if I turn... Hey, it's working. It's actually working. This is... This must be like, imagine actually being in this type of car. This must be the most intense ride. Like you're feeling every single bump. Not sure which bump is going to trigger a massive explosion that's going to destroy 90% of your vehicle. All right. So the interestingly and kind of unexpectedly, uh, the bombs seem more durable than they were when we tried this before, even though their impact sensitivity, I thought has been decreased. So let's go up to... Was that five notches now on the electric engine? Oh, there's no way this is gonna survive. What? How is this even surviving? How is this possible? I cannot believe this is working right now. Did I break this? Like, is this is this a broken? Are these can canisters broken? Because I loaded it in from the previous patch. Oh. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, we found the limit. Apparently, the sixth notch is the uh, is the limit for the explosive canisters. So, I guess it is my task then for this episode. Can we create a vehicle that can use the electric engine on the sixth notch without exploding the wheels? So now, I'm going to try... I don't know how this works. I'm pretty sure it's been tested by other people before. But I'm going to see what happens if I put a protective layer around the canisters. Does it completely negate all impact force? Or will it still explode with just a single layer? I'm wondering if it... I'm wondering if the impact force only matters if it comes in direct contact with the actual canister itself. All right, here we have it. This is the updated... Uh, insulated bomb wheels and we're gonna see if putting it well let's just see how it does on the normal one I'm assuming it's gonna be perfectly fine yeah this feels like no problem at all so let's just bump it up to five because five was the more the, the most tolerable one not most tolerable but the highest tolerable one all right this seems to still be working let's go up to six see if six does it Okay, I don't think we made it up to six before, but it looks like so far that this doesn't affect, it doesn't affect the bombs nearly as much. I mean, it's not, they don't really fit in the wheel wells either. All right, so let's just go max power. Let's just see if anything can blow these things up. All right, max power. If this doesn't blow it up, then I'm going to say that this is probably going to be considered cheating. Oh my goodness. Okay, look at those wheels. Like, look at those back wheels. Yeah, if, if this isn't an... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright, I, I think that was because the actual canister hit that ledge there. I don't think that was through the insulation material, to be honest. You know what? I got an idea. We're gonna put a canister right here. And then we're just going to put a, uh, just a, a layer of insulation around it. We're going to slam head first into a wall. And we're going to see if this affects the canister in any way. We should have probably built a wall. But let's see if that does anything. Okay. All right. I'm going to say that that's cheating. If you put any layers of insulation uh, blocking the canisters from contacting with the ground, 
then I think that that is technically cheating because it seems like the canisters become immune unless they have a direct impact on them. No matter how fast you're going, I'm trying to actually hit a tree here like with the canister, but it's not working. But it seems like no matter how fast the canisters impact the ground, unless it's a direct impact on the canister, it doesn't matter. Eh? Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely has to be a direct impact because now I bet if I take this off, the next thing we crash into is just gonna be instant, instant explosion. Yep, confirmed, confirmed. All right, so we're gonna have to figure out how to make some bomb wheels where the canisters come in direct contact with the ground. So let's see if we can make it go any faster. All right, so I have some ideas. I have some ideas. So let's spawn this thing back in and see if we can do it any better. Now, I would say that the vehicle that you build around it probably will make a difference. This is a pretty heavy vehicle. And that's kind of why I wanted to use it because I wanted it to be a real challenge here. But um, I think we're going to have to extend these wheel bases out because we need to we, we need to make these wheels bigger if we're going to use this. And somewhat counterintuitively, I'm going to add more explosives to the wheels in hopes that it's actually going to round out the wheels more, making the impact on any single explosive hopefully less than if it was just one explosive hitting corner to corner. All right, here is my next design. This is really not the the final design I had in mind, but um, I just decided to just try it out just because this is where I ended up after just putting a couple of things down. So I probably should move my uh, lift thing before I actually start this. But I can see this going either better or worse in a couple of different ways. One way is that the, uh, the force will be distributed across them more evenly as each one hits the ground one at a time, but because they are further away from the center of rotation, they're technically gonna be moving faster, which I'm afraid means that the impact will be stronger, but there's a chance that that might not be the case too. So uh, the only way to really see what happens is to try it out. So let's start off. So let's start off at the starting speed that we started the episode with. A lot of the words starting in there and just see how it goes with this. All right, already I'm feeling uncomfortable. We can't really turn. The, the wheels get stuck if we turn. So let's just do, we're just gonna do straight away tests for now. And man, they're like getting really close to rubbing there. All right, already this feels way more treacherous. So let's jump it up to notch um, four. So last time we could we could do notch five, we just couldn't do notch six. So here's notch four. Oh, this feels bad. This feels really bad. And if we explode now, you know it's gonna be a much bigger explosion than it was before. But it's working. It's actually working. All right, notch five. If this doesn't make it, then we know it's worse than it was before. Oh no, what? <laughs> oh, that was really bad. Our vehicle is like gone. You know, th there might be a chance that just having the single one on the wheel might be the best option. But I'm t I, I want to explore this further. So what I'm trying to do now is um, I'm going to say, oh, oh, that actually doesn't work the way I thought it was go. Is that? Oh, no, that does. That does go flush. So they technically would still be in contact with the ground, I think. So I'm just going to add like an extra layer. This is an insulation for the bombs themselves, but just something that can also absorb some impact when the in between the bombs and just to see if this helps at all. Now, what I'm worried about is, is it technically going to be touching the ground instead of the explosive? Like, is the explosive going to be touching the ground? Because that's kind of the criteria that I'm giving myself is the explosives have to touch the ground as the wheel spins. Otherwise, I don't really see it as a legitimate explosive wheel. I'm just hoping that this will kind of like save the corners from hitting so harshly. And that way, just the flat end is the only thing that's in contact with the ground. I feel like that'll just help a little bit. All right, because that 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 explosive is in contact with the ground, isn't it? All right, let's replace the wheels and see what happens. All right, now this thing is just starting to look ridiculous. So let's see. Uh, we're, I think we're at the basic speed right now, three notches. And this should be no problem at all. Let's take a look at how the wheels are doing. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned that the explosives aren't even touching the ground, so this might not count. But let's just see if we can get up to, um, let's just go straight to five from here. All right, so this is five. All right, that feels fine. Feels perfectly fine, no problems at all. And I think we exploded at five without the wedge pieces in between. 
So now let's see, how does number six work? All right, six notches. This is where the original design exploded with just the single, just the single bomb. All right, here we go. Wow. This actually feels really so, oh no. <laughs> I was just about to comment how smooth it feels. So I guess they are kind of in contact with the ground. It definitely helped. That's for sure. It definitely helped. Let's try it again on notch six. Just and just see if we can last any longer for whatever reason. All right, here we go. Notch six again. Let's see if we can see any of the contacts at Oh. Man, this thing sends us flying too. All right, so notch six might be like the overall limit. I'm wondering, like, I really feel like bigger wheels aren't gonna be better. All right now, I kind of want to confirm if I put this on the ends of all of these, is this just gonna completely, is, are we gonna be able to drive like normal wheels or will this still be an explosion point, do you think? All right, we're just going straight to notch six, here we go. All right, this actually seems perfectly fine right now. Like no issues whatsoever here. Look at this. This is so easy. What happened there? I think we may have actually slammed one of them into a piece of debris because they weren't completely protected. Look at all the debris everywhere. Because they weren't completely protected on the bottom. They had one block of exposure. And I think that we ran over one of these and it hit it right in that one block of uh, exposure. So, so that was unfortunate. All right, I've got another idea now. And I'm pretty sure this idea is just gonna be absolutely bonkers. But I just kind of want to see what happens with it. So bear with me. All right, so here is my latest design. So I've actually added suspension attached to all of the explosive canisters, hoping to absorb some of the impact, as well as protecting the corners of them, just the corners with the wedge pieces. We can't make a full wedge piece connection because that would negate the suspension effect. So I'm wondering if this is going to make it any better than the previous four canister design. So let's weld these to our vehicle and let her rip. All right, we're going to start this one at notch five, which has been the sweet spot of success. So let's just see what notch five feels like with these new wheels. That was not the expected result, to be honest. I'm going to try again and just chalk that up to maybe it was a fluke. But uh, let's go with, let's, let's start with notch four, just so we can observe how the wheels are working and if they're working as intended because I didn't really have time to observe there. All right, so here is notch four. Hmm. I mean, it looks like they're working as intended, but they might, the suspension might be too soft. Let's bump it up. Let's just see what happens if I bump it up to three doesn't seem to really do much. Four doesn't seem to do much. Five, six. All right, six is the first thing that seems to actually have any influence. So we might have to just put them all up to six. Maybe five. Let's go one down. Let's go five. So they that way we want them to fully compress, but we don't want them to resist too hard because if they resist too hard, then it's going to be just like hitting hard ground without any absorption anyway. All right, now let's just see if it looks any different as we drive. Okay. Oh, actually, that almost looks like it's worse because it almost looks like it's fighting back against the ground now. I almost feel like no resistance would be better than that. After seeing it actually try to resist, it almost seems like that just makes it worse. All right, I'm gonna put it all down to one. So like zero resistance at all. And I just wanna see if it feels any better. We were on notch four when that last one exploded. So basically, this is just letting the canisters let themselves down to the ground as it rotates rather than the ground pushing against them they kind of reach out to the ground at their own pace which might be better might be worse especially as we start getting some centripetal force going on uh that it might actually be worse. i don't know i don't know let's just move it up to notch four we failed at notch four with the five level resistance all right, that actually looks interesting. The debris might be a problem, actually. Maybe the debris is what caused the crash before. But this seems to be way more successful 
Then, oh, yeah, the de maybe the debris caused it. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. All right, let's try notch five with this design now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming as soon as I saw them hitting the ground like that. Man. All right, so this also was a failed attempt. All right, let's try this one again, but let's do strength seven, which actually pushes up. You can see strength seven actually gives a little bit of resistance just in its sitting mode. So this is probably gonna make things a lot worse once we go faster, but I just wanna watch and see the difference. See what happens. See if we see that fighting effect that we were seeing with strength five. All right, there we go. We're all on strength seven now. So let's actually find a clear, let's go this way. We're gonna find a more clear runway so that way the debris will hopefully not interfere with us. All right, so here's strength seven on notch four. So notch four should be the safe notch. Let's just observe what's happening. Wow, that feels, it feels a lot more floaty, but at the same time, a lot more risky than when they were at notch one, or not notch one, but uh, strength one and just falling down to the ground. This feels way worse than that. So I don't think these things are gonna survive five. All right, let's go to five now. See how this works. Oh boy, that doesn't look good. Nope, there it goes. There it goes. That lasted way longer though. I was kind of impressed with how long that lasted. All right, so up next is to try different configurations. Like perhaps uh, the cross kind of format just isn't the best option. So let's try some other options maybe. All right, so here is the new design. I decided to go for small canisters this time. And I just basically made a more roundish wheel, which I don't really think is going to help us that much because these wheels are pretty big, which means that the outside of the rim is going to be traveling faster than the inside, which to me makes it seem like it's just not going to be as good as that one uh, large canister attached to the wheels. And I think the small canisters are slightly more sensitive to impact than large canisters, if I remember my testing correctly. But uh, here, well, let's just go backwards this way. Here is the basic three notch speed. And this seems to be working okay. Then again, it's never had an issue with anything else before. So let's go up to four notches. See if this is uh, any different. Oh, this feels real bad. This feels so bad. This is not gonna work past five. I'm surprised it's even working at four to be honest. Oh man, I do not feel good about this. All right, five. I really think I'm going to explode now. I'm going to explode. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. The explosions are so much better on that one. Look, oh, wow. Look at how far our vehicle went. That was great. Oh, man. And because there's a smaller canister, the explosion radius is a lot smaller, which means that more of the ve vehicle survives. And it looks awesome. Man, look at that damage. Oh, I want to do that again. I think I forgot to save that, though. I'm going to have to rebuild that. <laughs> All right, here we are back at notch four on the small wheels. I'm even trying some turning, being risky here. Notch four is stable. Notch four feels pretty stable. So let's go to notch five again and watch this explosion goodness happen. All right, here it goes. One of these is going to explode any second. Whoa. Whoa. This feels smooth. Did you just see that? I mean, it was still notch five. That's we have we've we've done notch five before, so it's not progress, but that's better than last time. That's amazing. Why is it working all of a sudden? All right, it's time for notch six. <laughs> oh man, imagine if we happened at notch six. I'm actually gonna do a slow acceleration, or I'm gonna try to. That's actually really hard to do with electric engines. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <gasps> oh, this is so, the, the explosions are just so beautiful to watch. We've tried a lot of different experiments with wheel shapes. Now let's try these wheel shapes on different vehicles. So this is a very heavy vehicle. So let's see if we can do notch five and six with a really light vehicle where the wheels themselves are the primary weight source. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna build a bare bones frame of a vehicle and just put these wheels on it and see what happens. All right, here we go. I've stripped my other car and I put the wheels onto this and here we are at four. This is uh, strength four and I feel like this is doing okay. 
I feel like the suspension might be a little bit weird. I don't know if I should go stronger or not as strong. Maybe a little bit stronger. Let's not let's knock it up one notch. Yeah, it's looking a little bit better. It's not the smoothest ride, but uh, we were able to survive at notch five on the heavy vehicle. Let's see if the lighter vehicle. Oh wow! All right, well, this is an interesting result. Lighter vehicle has some other factors going on here that seem to be some costs when it comes to bomb stability, I guess you might want to call it. So what I'm going to experiment with now is I'm actually going to make this longer because it seems like we're a little bit too short right now. So I'm just going to cut it in half and it's trapped me. It's trapped me inside. Oh, there we go. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to extend the vehicle base a little bit more because when we went forward there, we uh, kind of wheelied up into the air, which then caused us to hit the ground a little bit harder than normal. And all of our weight went onto our back wheels, which wasn't good. All right, here we are. We're a lot longer now. So knocking it up to notch five shouldn't have as big of an impact as it did before. Let's find out. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Just a chain reaction of awesomeness. This is really an unexpected result. I thought the lighter vehicle would be better, but uh, let's see what happens. What if we don't have suspension at all? Maybe suspension is having an unintended consequence and I'm just gonna knock the suspension I'm just gonna bump the suspension strength up to 20, which basically makes it like a solid, a solid rod. Like there's pretty much no suspension now. All right, let's see if this feels any better. Okay, no, now we're just, we're just bouncing all over the place. But the strange thing is, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Look at it go. It's the base of its way down there. All right, so um, that's not working either. So then naturally, I always want to try the opposite extreme. Let's just try no suspension strength whatsoever. So it's not even going to be able to support its own weight and see what kind of difference this makes. All right, here we go. We're on notch four. I think notch four is fine. Let's bump up to notch five again. All right, here we go. Nope, we can't do it. I love these explosions. The small canisters are like even better because they don't automatically explode the whole vehicle. That they actually go one at a time. All right, so now let's test. Is it really the light weight that's the issue? And the easy way to test that is let's just add a bunch of metal to this thing and weigh it down by a lot more. All right, I put two whole layers of metal on this thing. So this is actually a lot heavier than it was. Suspension strength five again and see if this feels much different. All right, that's interesting. All right, this isn't making a whole lot of sense to me because this thing seemed to be able to do notch five, all right. And this is this is the same exact wheel design. So let's see if we get different results again. All right, here we go, notch five. Look at this. Look at this. There is something, I must have like an optimal suspension with this thing, because this is the same exact wheel design, but just the car, the body is different, and it must be the suspension too. What strength is my suspension at? Seven. Okay, how many blocks does this thing have? 197 metal, 434 concrete. So what if I just cover the bottom of this with all metal, how many metal blocks is that gonna equal out to? 324 metal blocks. Okay, so this vehicle is not nearly as heavy as I thought it was, so let's just try this with a single slab of metal because this is this is a lot more metal But this has a lot more concrete than this does so they might be roughly similar weights And now let's also do the suspension at seven as well So we're gonna try to make the weight as similar to that as we can estimate and I'm thinking that this is gonna be a similar weight And now let's see does this have a similar performance now at notch five as that I'm just trying to figure out like what is affecting what is going to improve or uh, hurt our ability to go fast. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. that was awesome. That was pretty awesome. All right, but this one seems to still do better. I don't know. Let's just, let's see if it explodes. It's still at notch five, I think. Look at that. 
Look at that. I'm actually really surprised at this. Oh, whoa, what the I stopped. What was that all about? All right, so oddly enough, here we are at notch five with just the basic wheel thing. And you can see that it definitely feels like we're going slower. And that's because we are, because the ends of our wheels aren't spinning nearly as fast. We don't have quite as big of a circumference that we're rotating around. But uh, we can, can we get up to notch six with this? I think we explode at notch six with this. Yeah, we explode at notch six with that. I want to pass the challenge off to you guys. Can any of you use the electric engine at notch six using explosives on your wheels that come in contact with the ground? I would love to see the kinds of designs that you guys come up with. I mean, I don't know if there's really, really that many more variations of these that still allow the bombs to come in contact with the ground. And uh, I'd love to see if they can work. I'm going to put this challenge on the Discord. I don't know how many submissions we're going to get. So please, if you want to submit, if you want to take on the Bombs for Wheels challenge, uh, join the Discord. I'm going to create a channel for it. And that is where you can leave your workshop links. And I want it to be vanilla only. Vanilla only, please. But uh, here are pretty much the designs that I tried in this episode. And uh, let's see if you guys can come up with anything better. Now remember, electric engines are a good way to try to keep a constant speed. And if you, if you can have something that can ride smoothly on notch six, I'll be super impressed. But uh, I don't really think you can do it. So prove me wrong. All right, let me know which one of these designs was your favorite. And let me know if you have any advice for those that are going to be participating in the challenge. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.